Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. Just got through talking to the 1LVZ. Shout out to the 1LVZ. His video will be up pretty soon. Uh, I saw a tickets video. Now I'm going to get my interpretation. I respect Michael Jordan, what he did for the game of basketball. I respect what he did for... I respect what he did for, you know, sports in general. He He revolutionized the way we see basketball as far as he revolutionized the sneaker game he did a lot of things and I will always give him credit for that now we can go back and forth about whether he the greatest all around basketball player or even the greatest all around athlete of all time that's very debatable now most people think he the greatest basketball player of all time professional but when I see people that just blatantly show that they are apologists and they fanboys and, and nut huggers, they get to the point to where you got to say enough is enough. Shout out to the one LBZ. Like I said, I just got through talking to him. But now they got Michael Jordan as the greatest uh, college player of all time. Are you guys out of your fucking mind? It is without a shadow of a doubt the greatest college basketball player, the greatest high school basketball player of all time is the man formerly known as Lou Alcindor Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That is just flat out disrespectful. And I'm going to tell you right now, any of you motherfucking Michael Jordan fans try to say that he was a better college basketball player than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you are out of your fucking mind. First of all, when he won that national championship, he wasn't even the best player on this team. James Worthy was the best player on that fucking team. And how many national championships did he win after James Worthy left? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let me tell you something, and this is just real talk. Take this however you want. KD, Kevin Wayne Durant was a better and more dominant basketball player than Michael Jordan was in his one collegiate year at Texas is you out of your fucking mind I can name several people that were better basketball players in college than Michael Jordan was shit I mean for real just just several you make the argument that Mahmoud abdul Rahu, better known as Chris Jackson, was a better overall basketball player. Pistol Pete Maravich was a better college basketball player than Michael Jordan. Do I need to go on? Man, this Michael Jordan nut-hugging stuff is just ridiculous. He can't hold Kareem's jockstrap as far as college goes. They changed rules because of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar they wouldn't even allow you to slam dunk Kareem won a national championship what every year he was at you, I, I mean UCLA is you serious this Jordan shit gotta stop it, it gotta stop it's, it's just getting to the point to where it's just repulsive like I said, Michael Jordan wasn't even the best fucking player on, on that team that won the national championship. Yes, he hit the game winning shot, but James Worthy at the time, who went number one overall, was a better collegiate basketball player than Michael Jordan. Now, let's go back to the 1984 draft. Is there anybody that can dispute that Michael Jordan should have went number one over Hakeem Uijewan. Hakeem went number one. Michael Jordan went number three. Sam Bowie went number 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 two. Now, if you want to make an argument that Sam Bowie should have got picked after Michael Jordan, that's fine. But there is nobody that can tell me that Houston was 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 crazy not to pick Michael Jordan number one. They got it right because they won. Yes, Michael Jordan won six championships. But like I keep saying, everybody keep talking about this shit about my. And like I said, Michael Jordan is an all-time great. He did some great things. That's without a shadow of a doubt. 
But like I said, I can critique his championships. Everybody keep talking about that Michael Jordan never lost the finals. Well, well, he, he kept retiring. I'm going to tell you right now. Michael Jordan would have eventually lost the finals. Okay? There was no way that Michael Jordan eventually would have been able to beat those San Antonio Spurs team. Even if they would have kept everybody. They wouldn't have been able to beat those Laker teams. They wouldn't have been able to beat them Spurs teams. Okay? He got out at the right time. I think that's, you know, something that's just overblown about he never he never lost the finals. Well, Bill Russell got 11 rings, and I keep telling y'all that. And I don't want to hear about, well, he was a defensive player and all that kind of shit. This is just fact. As I keep saying, the same way y'all say Michael Jordan never played in a, in a game seven. Well, like I said, Michael Jordan never swept anybody neither. He's never swept anybody. So, I'm just keeping it 100. That's fact.